Reince Priebus, the head of the RNC, gave a hilarious speech at the convention yesterday. Let's watch a little piece of it. We are the party of the grassroots. We honor what the voters say. Democrats want to put labor union bosses in charge of our schools, limit our choices, and feed our kids a steady diet of the left-wing propaganda. What was so amazing about Reince Priebus' speech is I could have taken out any little 10-second clip, 15-second clip, minute-long clip, and every single statement he made was either factually incorrect or it was sheer projection. So just take the last comment. Ah, oh, it's the Democrats who are trying to feed our kids a steady diet of left-wing propaganda. Huh. Um, by teaching them facts? What do the Democrats want to teach kids? I mean, they want to teach them evolution. That happened. That's true. They want to teach them that climate change is real. That's true. They want to make sure science is the only thing in the science class and you don't bring in fucking religious myths and talk about your jigglypuff in space. Again, they're, they're right on that front. They want to teach history. Hey, we want the civil rights era. That was good. We were on the side of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. They want to teach these things. Now, on, on the flip side, what, what are the scandals about Republicans and what they want to teach kids? Dude, in the platform, we just covered the story. In the platform, they say, in 2016, they just drafted this. Man's law needs to coincide with God's law. They say the Bible should be taught in all public schools. Okay, you're the people who want to pretend the Bible is fact. You're the people who want to ignore the reality of climate change. You're the people who want to question evolution and say, well, we should be 50-50 and teach creationism alongside evolution. And then when you call them out on that and say, dude, creationism is overtly religious, you can't do that. What do they do? They just move the goalpost to, oh, did we say creationism? We meant you got to teach equally evolution and intelligent design, which is the pseudo-intellectual version of creationism. Where you don't say the world is 6,000 years old, but you say, oh, no, but everything is so complex and intricate that there's no way it could have been created without God. I mean, there are so many gaps in the fossil record for evolution. All this scientifically illiterate horse shit, and they try to teach these things. This is what they want to teach. If we covered stories about how, I forget whether it was in Alabama or Mississippi or whatever it was, they teach that slavery was indeed not that bad. <laughs> like, they teach, oh, and the slave master gave their slaves some great clothes and a roof over their head, and it wasn't that bad. So don't tell me, oh, the liberals do revisionist history. You do revisionist history. You're the ones who want to do propaganda of, to the kids. And it's just sheer projection to say, it's the liberal, the liberals, they want to fucking teach facts. Disgusting. And then what else did he say? We're the party that honor uh, what people say. We're the people that will implement whatever the people want. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. How many, how many examples uh, can I give against this one? Just take guns. 92% of the American people want a universal background check. 92%, even a majority of NRA members. And you sick motherfuckers filibustered even a watered-down background check bill. Never mind a universal background check bill. You care about the people. My ass cheeks, you care about the people. Other examples, too. Minimum wage. 80% of the American people want to raise the minimum wage. Guess who's fucking blocking it? The Republicans. Because they're, the the they're doing the bidding of the corporation. The corporations. Excuse me. Apparently, I can't talk today. Uh, I mean, how many examples are there of issues where the American people go, Hey, we're against you on that one. And they're like, oh, well, we don't care. It's, it's endless. It's endless. And then my favorite one. We're the party of the grassroots. Oh, that's adorable. That is adorable. And honestly, that actually is a somewhat pervasive myth that I find it, it, it's unbelievable that some people still believe that, but a lot of people do. And it's because the Democrats have done such a piss poor job of marketing and, you know, strategizing and getting their message out there in an effective way to the point where. The Republicans step in and they try to argue, no, we are the party of the middle class. We are the party of the grassroots. This is what he's saying. And honestly, I think it comes down to one main argument that they make where people get convinced by it. And I've seen it in my own personal life. I've often told a story speaking to an uncle where, you know, a, a while back he says, hey, you know, Kyle, when you start to make money, you'll understand. You'll understand that. 
You want to keep that money in your paycheck. You don't want to pay it all in taxes, so you got to vote Republican because they want you to keep more of your own money. So this is the argument that they use to say, hey, we're for the grassroots. We're for the people. We're for the middle class. Because their argument is, we, we, we want to let you keep more of your money. The goddamn Democrats want to take it and redistribute it everywhere. That's the argument they make. Why is that complete and utter bullshit? If you go look at the proposed tax rates, man, it, it's not a fucking conspiracy. It's out there. I, my go-to example is in the 08 election, John McCain versus Obama. CNN Money did an analysis of their tax plans. But this generalizes through, you know, most Republican and Democratic races. President Obama, at the time, Senator Obama, candidate Obama, he wanted to cut taxes more for 90% of the American people. <laughs> Nine out of ten people get a bigger tax cut under Democrats. Only the top 10%, the richest 10%, get a slight tax increase. Flip the script, John McCain. He didn't give you as big of a tax cut as Obama did, so he would take more of your money. John McCain would if you're the bottom 90% of the American people, which is the overwhelming majority of us, of course. If you're in the top 10%, that's where John McCain cuts your taxes the most. So when they talk about cutting taxes, they ain't talking about the little guy. They ain't talking about the grassroots. They ain't talking about the regular guy. So the one argument they use to say, we're for the grassroots, we're for the middle class, is total bullshit. And since the Democrats don't repeatedly, you know, counter that argument, well, then people get away with it. And they say shit like we're the party of grassroots and they have some sort of, you know, stretch of an argument. If I'm the Democrats, I steal that mantle from the Republicans. You know, a lot of Democrats want to, they just want to counter the Republicans directly. So when they say, we're the party of tax cuts, they want to say, no, that's bad. Tax hikes are good. No, it's more nuanced than that. So if I'm the Democrats, I would teach all the politicians to come out there and say, actually, you're not the party of tax cuts. We're the party of tax cuts. We cut taxes for nine out of 10 people, 90% of people in the country. What are you talking about? You're the fucking party of tax cuts. We're the party of tax cuts. You want to raise taxes on the middle class and the grassroots and the little guy. That's what you want to do. Let's compare our plans right now. Who cuts taxes more for regular people? Who does it? Who does it? We do it. So to shut the fuck up, you're the party of tax cuts. We're the party of tax cuts. Not only that, we want to cut your taxes, and then on top of that, give you more in social services. What do the Republicans want tax money to go to? War, corporate welfare, Wall Street, pork barrel spending, nonsense. The Democrats are much more likely, they want to, they want to put it in social programs. Okay, make sure Medicare is taken care of, make sure Medicaid is taken care of, make sure Social Security is taken care of. Got to take care of all that. We should also go further, do a public option when it comes to health care. You know, uh, do some sort of college plan where we either eliminate student debt or lessen student debt or make, uh, you know, college free from here on out. These are the things that, these are the debates we're having. Hey, we want you to have low taxes and also get a better bang for your buck in the stuff that you do pay in taxes. The Republicans want to make you pay more in taxes, and then take that money and give it to their buddies on Wall Street and give it to the military-industrial complex. It's not a question. Oh, who's more for the grassroots? It's not even close. And actually, I would argue neither party's for the grassroots and for the middle class. They both suck because they're both corporatist. But in terms of who's better, we're not even having that conversation. But Reince Priebus spends an entire speech throwing ridiculous argument after ridiculous argument at you. And unfortunately, some people in the country believe it.